My name is William Clyburn. I'm from from a lot of places. Um, mostly I'm from Texas. I was born in Corpus Christi, Texas. I call it Crab is Crusty sometimes. Some people are offended by that. But, um, kind of stinks there, but there, yeah, Corpus Christi. And I moved to Houston, and I lived in Houston for a little bit. I mean, my dad played guitar, and my mom sang, and they all did like music in church and stuff, so I just like, as a baby, did that. So, yeah, probably like since I was a kid, and then I just started, I like, learned how to play guitar when I was like six, and then drums when I was like three. So I, it was just like always there. And so then I did it all through high school and junior high and up and up and up, college and whatever, I'm doing it now. Mm -hmm. I started recording music like probably sophomore year of high school. Yeah. When I first got like garage band or something. Definitely, yeah. Sophomore year of high school, that's when I made my first song. And then like, I know that um, on the album, on Beyond, Oh yeah. There's like Adams. I know you had that. Like I heard that song. That's in what I was. That's ju the, junior year, I heard that song. That's the song I was talking about. Yeah, like yeah. I just think that's crazy that you had that all the way back then, and then for it to like sound the way it sounds now, like I know what it sounded like back then, mm -hmm. and it's like the cajones and the the guitars, mm -hmm. like it's just all there. Yeah, it was all just inspired by like this little riff that Jackson had made. And then I had all these lyrics. I had those lyrics like even way before that. Yeah. And just some weird rant or a poem thing. Yeah. I don't know what it was. You know. Well, how'd you get introduced in your? How'd you get into like Sunwood Escape? How did this whole thing come about? To from your from William's perspective, how did Sunwood Escape come about? Well, I was just kind of not doing anything at the time that you were also not doing anything. Yeah. Well, you were. Apparently doing something. I was making music. I don't know. I was totally unaware of it completely, of someone escaping in its entirety until one night, you came over to my house. Yeah. And we just like you were like I have this beat, and it was the beat. It was it's on the album now. Yeah, it's high. It's, it's yeah, it's like track four or three or something. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's four. Yeah, and you have this beat, and we like flipped it or whatever, and I just like added vocals to it, and you were like. We're gonna make this so big, bro. This is gonna be legendary. And then like, we just kept going like yeah. from there. And then you brought up Pink Clouds. I think it's funny how we like made that that one day, and then we stopped with that. Yeah. We yeah. Made a whole nother project, and then that's like, true because we didn't even start that because that was way later. Was because because we released the EP right. right we made this yeah, instrumental, yeah. released the EP, and then like we're almost done with the album, and we're like, we needed like another song, and we were we were like, let's just use this beat. Because we're, yeah. we're so flippy on it. But that was Pink Clouds. That was what really was somewhat escaped for me was Pink Clouds. Pink Clouds. The first release on SoundCloud that we were really excited to release. Just as I'll link that in the bio. Pink Clouds is a fire song. I'll link it in the description. <laughs> so, from the beginning of Beyond to the end of it, like, <laughs> some dog going crazy outside. Negative. What are, like, ch just challenges you? Challenges with just trying to make it sound as good as possible. Yeah, um, make it sound seamless. Yeah, trying to, I don't know, trying to find a sound with each track too, because each of them have a very, very different um, feeling. Yeah. Like every single one of them has its own sort of like place it takes you to. Like in the beginning, it starts out really existential and this weird like groovy sense, and it's party and it's party, and then it kind of slows down. That's, I don't know, it, it, sort of um, putting that into a, into a whole project and seeing it as it is now yeah. was kind of stressful in, it, in the entirety of making it, like, thinking how it's going to be, like, how long it's going to be and what, it's, what people are going to think about it, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. When the album came out, like, once the whole distribution thing got figured out and everything got figured out and it was out and then we were at the party... And everyone was there. Right. How did it feel once, like, you saw the whole track list? And, it was like, really cool. It was kind of, like, surreal. It was cool. It was cool. Like, I just finished it. It was, like, I, I don't know. It was just, it felt like so much combined effort all into one, like, super moment, which is yeah. what it was. And I mean, 
Yeah, yeah it's that, that always feels really, really good. It felt it felt like a little bit. It honestly felt like kind of better than the than the EP because it was like okay, now we're just kind of getting started. Mm -hmm. This it felt really like okay, like we're just gonna do this again and again, and, and it's gonna get better each time. Yeah. And it's only gonna get progressively like more exciting than the last one if we put that combined effort in there. Exactly. Know? Then what's next for old Bill? I don't know, man. I, uh, I'm just going to keep releasing singles mm -hmm. here and there, far and wide. Mm -hmm. I got one coming up right now with a, with, a lucky, with a lucky man named Jacob. He's part of the Summit team. But yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be really really fire. I I don't want to say too much about it. I want to like post snippets and stuff and like get it out on social media. But but yeah, we just finished that song last night. Yeah, um, it's gonna be freaking fire. And then know. any projects? A lot of people love projects it. coming up. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. See what the future holds. Yeah, I mean, definitely projects coming up. Mm -hmm.